Hi everyone, it is Dinosaur Fred and it's time for another Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. This time we'll start with Wild Bee. I don't like bees. Anyways, um... It's Delfino Plaza. Anyways, um, I think last time we unlocked a new level, so we're gonna go to this new level. I like saying new like that. New. Makes me sound like a, uh, very sophisticated cow of some sort. Anyways, nonsense aside, let's go into this pipe. Because Mario's never done that before. Serena Beach, the Manta Storm. Episode 1. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's so beautiful. So, um, in this level, there's like electric slime everywhere, and I would recommend not touching electric slime, because, uh, last time I checked, anything that's like electrified will shock you, so. I want to wash this. And you can tell it's electrified, obviously. So we just uh, clean the beach. Okay, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, I was supposed to talk to him. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to clean up the goo, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that part out. <laughs> I thought, I thought the uh, star was to clean up the goo, but it, I, this is what I remember. Let's just spray this, uh, this nice uh, strapping young manta fellow. And he's just gonna split into many. I would actually recommend doing the spin jump because it's really, really hard to uh, track all these guys down. If you get them with a little bit of water, it will uh, do quite a bit of damage to them. I'm dying. I need to, I need to get on a tree. Wow, they're everywhere. Ow. Um, get back here, you. You know, I really don't like bosses that, like, split into smaller bits. And the smaller bits become increasingly... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the smaller bits become increasingly hard to chase, uh, as in the case with this boss. It's not exactly one of my favorites. Why did they come chasing me? They're like running away from me, actually. Which they shouldn't be, because I'm like dying. Now they're coming. This is this is the easier part. They sound like birds of some sort. See, I'm glad that um, whoever designed this uh, made them come after you in the end, because it would have been really difficult to track all these guys down. Ouch. I wish this was like in the real world, like, the amount of money you have correlates to how much health you have, uh, but obviously it doesn't work that way. Ow.
All right, that was the last one. Hooray! And yes, our hotel is back. Jessic Hotel. Hotel Delfino! And a shine sprite at the very top. I am, like, half dead, but, uh, let's go collect those, because it's a very pretty scene. I really like how I'm right on top of that thing. That thing, that was, that, that was just an awesome pick. <laughs> uh, anyway, shine 17. Here we go. Anything gonna happen? Uh, let's go back in, because we haven't gone into the hotel yet, and I think it's time that we do! Hotel Lobby Secret. Oh, it's another secret. I love these. Oh, I hope it's not the crappy secret. There's a couple of crappy ones. Man, I love this place. Hi. Ghost? It's full of ghosts. Whoa. <laughs> so anyways, um, Hotel uh, Delfino is kind of like the... Uh, what do you call it? The ghost house of the Mario game. Because every Mario game does have a ghost house, and this is kind of it. Um, personally, I never like ghost, house e uh, ghost houses either, but this is quite a good one because it's not scary. I don't like horror. I don't like horror, and I don't like scary stuff, and this is coming from the guy who did his first Let's Play on Amnesia. Can you guys stay blocks forever? I don't remember. Yeah, so the gimmick with these uh ow, pink ghosts is that they uh they stay they turn into blocks once you squirt them with water. So um just go ahead and do that and make your glorious climb to victory. This guy's not like taking any water. Are you even a ghost? Right, let's go here. Ugh, I hate ghosts. Anyways, um... No, I think the entrance is right there. So just hop into Boo's mouth. How dare you, that was mine! Whoa. Whoa, what is this? Whoa! Anyways, there's a giant watermelon there. <laughs> no. At the beginning. Anyways, um. Okay. Are you guys supposed to be Goombas or something? I don't know what you guys are. I don't know what you guys are either. Uh, I think I'm supposed to. Yeah. Okay, we gotta wait for him to go in the middle. This is classic Mario. Jump on it and. Oh my god. <laughs> I shouldn't have pressed B. Okay, gotta wait for him to come to the middle. Even though I don't like waiting. There we go. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, now we can fully wall jump. Alright, um, I think we just run. 
Yeah, I like this part. Plenty of running. <laughs> Not enough jumping, apparently, because I didn't jump. Uh, one fun fact about me, I'm actually extremely afraid of heights, and I should not have done that, because I am extremely afraid of heights. How am I supposed to get over there? Am I supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to hop on this thing. Yeah, so if I look down, like even in video games, um, I actually get terrified. Um, no! No! Oh no. And I was explaining such a wonderful story about my fear of heights. And we jump down. Oh man. So we just kinda. kinda kinda stay in the middle if you can. No! 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 I almost had it. No. <laughs> oh my god, I died again. There's gotta be a gag reel. I think I think I might do a gag reel at the end where it just shows my stupidest deaths. And yeah. Okay, one up. Go up here. Wall jump. Okay. Now we chain run over. Gotta wait for this guy. Okay. And we do this. Run over. I'm glad I got all those extra lives. Help sustainability. Green energy. More like red energy. Mario's red. If I were Luigi, though. Hmm. No. See, moments like those give me like heart attacks of some sort. So, oh my god. Another heart attack of some sort. No, we gotta jump over. Okay, we're safe. Sort of. Take it slow, cuz... Okay, there we go. And star me! I just realized I said star me. It's like that Pokemon. <laughs> I love Pokemon, if any if anyone doesn't know. I, I love that game to death. Um later on likely you're gonna do a playthrough of uh uh s some Pokemon version. I, I don't know which yet. Um yeah. And we gotta go back in. And I totally just remembered that I was gonna tell you guys the story of my alias, uh dinosaur friend in the past one, and I totally didn't do it at the beginning of this uh playthrough and I totally was, but I forgot. But anyways, here is a story. So, actually, let's let's check out uh, what do we have to do. I think we just have to go in. There's a weird sprite. But anyways, um, it kind of started. Uh, like everyone always asks me, it's like, hey, is it because of Yoshi? Just because uh, if anyone knows me personally, I really love Yoshi. Like I have like Yoshi stuff everywhere. He's like my favorite character ever. But um, anyways, uh, the story kind of came. Um, one night when me and a couple of friends were playing, we, we, we had like a LAN party and like we were playing, I think it was Warcraft 3? I'm not, I don't remember uh, quite what it was. I think it was Warcraft 3. But um, anyways, uh, we, we were playing Warcraft 3 and we were, we were, we were like in the lobby and uh, we just came up with a bunch of stupid names like like oh like green fighter or like some something like that we we were like we were laughing or we, we were laughing so hard just because uh these names are just weird and ridiculous and uh, so 
one of my friends just came in and it was like blank friend. It, it was like the blank would have anything in it, like, I don't know, like tomato friend or something. And we thought it was really funny and then we kept coming in with different names with friends and then I came in one with dinosaur friend and everybody, everybody was just laughing so hard and it just kind of stuck with me. Ow. So that's kind of the story of uh, Dinosaur Friend. It has nothing to do with Yoshis, despite popular belief. I know I'm supposed to do something up here. Uh, here? No, it's just here. Oh no, I remember now. I remember what to do. Go to the ladies' room and freak her out. Yeah, I remember now. Okay, so... Ow. So you go to the men's room. And this is really obscure. I don't know how anyone was supposed to figure this out, but you jump up here. You jump right here. Yeah. <laughs> like, that made any sense. And then you squirt this thing. Ta-da, it's a boo. I know, how did I get in here? So you go in here. These kids are running around. There's a boo. Um, some boos appear as coins, um, but they're not. You can tell by um, if they spin or not. If they don't spin, they're probably a boo. Okay, now we spray this. Gotta make it look like a boo. up. Spray those things. And then jump up here. And I suck at jumping. And yeah, and then spray this thing. And then um, spray this thing. Put the blue coin. I think there was a boo there or something. Um, and then I think we butt slammed this. And there's a pineapple in one of these crates. Yep. I like how I just like instantly remembered it. Um, remembered what to do once I uh, figured it out. But um, yeah, this is kind of one of the more obscure stars. Um, and I kind of don't like it because of that. But anyways, here's a pineapple Yoshi. Now we have to return upstairs back to that hotel room. And Yoshi's like super fast. Um, I, even though I'm a huge fan of Yoshi, I'm not a fan of Yoshi in this game just because the mechanics were kind of weird. Um, he's kind of gimmicky. Um, I really like the uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 Yoshi mechanics though. That made it really fun. So yeah, you just eat, you just eat all the ghosts. I'm gonna go on a ghost eating rampage. Rampage. Ow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. But oh man, are you? You gotta be kidding me! Oh, there we go. Screw you, ghosts! I hate you guys. Yoshi's almost out of juice. There we go. Oh man, that took a while. I am sorry guys, but that that was one of the most obscure shine sprites in the game in my opinion. It's really annoying, but anyways, um, so we just did three stars at Serena Beach, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys on the next Mario-related playthrough.